is the Keep Your Fire Burning segment of Ignite Success, and I'm your host, Snowden McFall, 25-year professional speaker, six-time author, and coach. And I want to share with you today some information about coaching because women often ask me about what I do as a coach and whether or not they should get a coach and how to find a good one. So let me just give you some information about how you can find the perfect coach to take you to the next level. The most important thing you need to know when you're looking for a coach is why. Why do you want a coach? What is it that you specifically are looking for? Are you looking for someone to help you give speeches and do more effective presentations? I often coach women with that. Are you looking for someone to help you go through changes and transitions? Some of my clients have been through uh, life changes, career shifts, their children have gone back to school so now they're ready to re-enter the workforce, or they're burnt out and stressed and they need to know how to manage their time better. One of my colleagues is a coach who helps women with their physical and athletic abilities and helps them get into shape and lose weight. There are other coaches who help you with business development and sales. And there's really a coach for every arena. I've used coaches throughout my career. A voice coach to help with my speaking career. And she taught me that we get really nervous. We talk really high. And she taught me about getting my voice to natural pitch. And so one of the tips she taught me is you go, mm hmm, and that will get your voice resonating at a normal pitch. So know what it is that you want a coach for. What are your goals? What is it that you really want to learn? And how will you know that you've achieved those goals? You've got to be able to see it and feel it and have a sense of it. And it's got to be crystal clear in your mind that you've achieved it. And you need to articulate those goals with your coach. You also want to make sure you have a really strong sense of what success looks like when you've achieved them. So how do you find the right coach? There are literally thousands and thousands of coaches out there. And there's no regulating body for coaches. So you really want to be careful about who you choose. One of the best places is through referrals. Many of my clients have come to me from my other coaching clients. And that's the best way because nothing is better than having someone who's had first-hand experience with you. But you also want to find out what kinds of expertise they have and what areas of knowledge they can bring to you and add value to your life. You want to find out the terms of the agreement. It's very difficult for a coach to make significant strides with you in less than six months. It usually takes six to 12 months and those are typical terms of the agreement working together. And what do you look for? Well, besides expertise in the area that you really need help in, so for example, you wouldn't hire a fitness coach to help you give better speeches, just like you wouldn't hire a speech coach to help you get physically fit. You want to make sure you hire somebody who has the exact expertise that you're looking for. You also want to make sure that they have integrity and that they subscribe to a code of ethics. As a longtime member of the National Speakers Association, our code of ethics is quite strict and it governs everything that we do. And you want to make sure that whatever coach you work with, whoever he or she is, that they also have a strong code of ethics. You want to make sure that there is chemistry between you and this other person. Sometimes people just don't click and sometimes they do. And you want to know how the communication is going to go. Some coaches just ask a whole bunch of questions. Other coaches like me will offer a variety of different suggestions and solutions. You just have to find out what kind works best for you. You want someone who's going to be honest with you and perhaps give you a little bit of tough love in a kind way. It's not going to do any good to have a coach who always says yes and tells you you're perfect because you won't get any better. You really need somebody who's going to be straightforward with you and someone who's going to hold you accountable to your goals. You want someone who is enthusiastic and positive and has a passion for what they're doing because if they can't get excited about you and your goals, how are you going to get, get excited about it? You need somebody who will be your cheerleader, who occasionally give you that little 
push to move to the next level, but you want somebody who you can trust, who will keep your situation and circumstances confidential. One of my co coaching clients recently wrote me that I saw things in her that she never saw about herself, good things that she was able to bring to light and special gifts and talents that she hadn't recognized or owned about herself. Coaching can be invaluable. I've used coaches in so many different areas of my life and they've made such a significant difference. And coaching can help you too if you're interested. So I hope that you'll use those tools and techniques and ask the right questions. Most coaches will let you spend the first session with them for free so that you can check them out and see how the two of you click. Use this information. Find somebody who will take you to the next level to ignite your success.